Let's go. What the hell is this? What am I doing? Stop it! <laughs> How generic was that? Holy shit. I'm sorry. Let's go! What's up everyone? Welcome to Sunday with Ola 159. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for not asking. It's good to be back home. You know, last week I was in China. Holy shit, new guitars. This is a Svart A1.7 Svart. There's also a A1.6 Svart somewhere in this building. I don't know where. Oh shit, I'm so sweaty. I need to... I need to fucking uh, wipe my sweat off. Oh, 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 what is this? Oh shit. Take a look at that. This, my friends, it's a polish cloth. You know, that you polish guitars or if you want to polish your face or polish your phone. It's great. It's uh, another way of selling more products, I guess. Look at this. No, but it's uh, it's our own branded polished cloths that are now available from oldanglandshop.com. Look at that. It has my little logo on it. Oh, it's so cute. Also, in this coming week, we're seeing the release of the Chug Project album number two on Wednesday, the 25th. The album will be out on YouTube and all streaming platforms. Thank you so much for the patience. We are still waiting for the vinyls to arrive this week. But as soon as the vinyls arrive, we'll start shipping out all the pre-orders. I'm probably going to make some sort of a, of a live stream where I listen to you guys' music and I'll pack some shit and, you know, pa pack some shit. But thank you so much for all the support with this, okay? Guys, thank you so much. You can still pre-order the Chug album project number two from Olengner shop.com hiya thank you uh, 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 the news dude do you guys remember this game north and south holy shit amiga can you see it let's watch such a good game holy shit i play this a lot Anyways, who cares? Do you guys remember the Vinnie Paul auction that happened, uh, you know, was it a year or a year and two, almost two years ago, I think, or like, whatever. Anyways, you know, I bought a couple of things from the Vinnie Paul auction. I got like uh, his hat and I got like a, a scarf and some uh, signs and cool shit. And also, yeah, the signs, yeah, for party, party signs. It was great. Also, his license plates. I have Vinnie Paul's license plates. Anyways, they opened up the Vinnie Paul auction again. And I think it's for the stuff that didn't get sold the first time. Or, uh, you know, stuff that people didn't end up paying for, I guess. So, it's back up for auction. So, I figured we would check out some of the items that are up for auction this time. So, uh, we got a Judas Priest. Band autographed uh, ESP. Okay, cool. Kiss. Band signed. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I forgot how slow this website was. Look at that. Have you had a kiss today? So this is basically things that Vinnie Paul owned and the uh, stuff from his house, I guess. There's like two Day Mustang guitars. And also this, uh, you know, in the initial first auction, there was, I think it was four drum kits or something like that. And I think the Far Beyond Driven one was the one that got sold. And the rest of them, I don't think they got sold, to be honest. And you have this, the Pantera Final Tour Complete Pearl Drum Kit and Hardware. And I'm not sure I saw this in the previous auction. Apparently, this was used during their final show in Japan. 
And uh, so they only used it for one show, I think. The chrome finished pearl drum kit as featured here was the last ever kit Vinnie Paul would use to cap off a chapter that was started 20 years earlier. So you got the kit right here. Uh, look, oh shit, is that the... Are those the same skins though? Oh, he must have toured with hell yeah. 20,000 US dollars, that's... I mean, it's Pantera, man. Okay, you have a couple of Cowards from Hell, Gold CD and Cassette Awards. Okay, cool. This is the Gold album. I wanted one of these, but I thought they were all uh, sold out. So I think the ones that bid high on it, they didn't pay for it. Because a lot of these I would love to have. There's some photos. There's also a Dimebag Dial 2018 Dimoflage. Two of them actually, okay. Uh, you can get a snare, you can get a left-handed dime bag guitar. There's, there's a bunch of stuff on here, man. It's nowhere near as many items that back uh, during the first round, but there's still a couple of things that you can grab if you're interested in this. I personally would probably uh, put a bit on one of these gold award uh, things for like, you know, the, uh, the covers from hell. That they had this one for instance starting bid 750. look at this two million sales vulgar display of power how cool would that be to have on your wall man holy shit keanu reeves holy shit is there anyone that dislikes keanu reeves out there i don't think so man is it even possible anyways him and fender has made a video he's apparently playing the bass guitar holy shit i think literally like here who <laughs> went to Guitar Center to buy a bass, but he ended up doing a deal on the parking lot. That's cool, man. See, like that riff could just be fucking like, you know. Anyway, I think I might. Dude, Keanu Reeves, he makes you happy. He makes people happy, man. What a living legend. Are they gonna release? I, I didn't get like. Are they doing something? Are they doing like a signature bass or something like that, or is this just? I think this is just a feature video of, of uh, you know Keanu Reeves playing Fender. Very cool anyways. All right, I talked about Bandcamp in the past weeks and them, you know, got they got acquired by Song Trader and now they've announced that uh, half the staff has been laid off. Awesome. Good for them. So after this news broke, uh, Song Trader came out with a statement basically saying that some of the positions at uh, Bandcamp were already being covered by parts of Song Trader. So it was basically like a merger. And when you merge like that, you basically have to lay off people because there's just too many people around. And the people that got laid off will receive a severance from Epic Games as a part of layoffs as communicated on September 28th. So uh, that's just business right there. It sucks. And uh, we have no idea how bank cap is going to fare from this moment, but I'm hoping for the best because you know a lot of bands they're using Bandcamp. That's their only way of getting a, a some sort of a, 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 a an okay income from their music. I'm hoping for the best here, okay? Papa Roach, that's a band. Uh, Last Resort hits one billion plays on Spotify. I can't say for sure that Last Resort is one of my most favorite songs in the world, but I can say I've heard it plenty of times back in the day. It was fucking... It was on the radio all the time. Holy shit, man. Anyway, it broke 1 billion plays on Spotify, which is, you know, that's a lot. According to Spotify, there are less than 500 songs on the platform that have achieved 1 billion plays. And other notable rock and metal songs in the club are Enter Sandman and Nothing Else Matter by uh, Metallica. Chop Sui by System of Dawn. In the end, the Numb by Linkin Park. Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. And both Smells Like Teen Spirit and Come As You Are by Nirvana. So, uh, I guess Metallica is the hardest metal band uh, that, that broke 1 billion. Uh, which makes sense. You know, you can bash Papa Roach and Linkin Park and all these bands all you want. But you know what? They brought a lot of kids and made them start listening to metal. So, you know, I would praise these bands more. Respect, man. I mean, it's been absolutely terrible in regards to the news. And maybe after I record this, you know, we'll get the news of the century, but that's kind of like the gist of recording Thunder With All Us. I have to record it earlier in the week when uh, there's no news. And then I have to basically cover last week's news, you know? I figured we would check out Reverb or Reverb instead and, you know, see if we can find some cool used guitars. You know, it's been a long time since I uh, gifted myself a guitar, so I was thinking maybe we could take a look together. How about that, okay? Polar guitars, what? Polar guitars? 41,000 for a handmade guitar in Stockholm, what? It's in Sweden. Okay. 
I'm just thinking like polar guitars. It's kind of close to solar guitars. <laughs> That's my reaction to this. Okay, good luck. I'm probably scrolling past a bunch of really cool guitars, but I'm just so uh, I'm just so good with scrolling, I guess. Look at this. There's a Washburn Dime V right here. It's one of the few that looks good. It's one of the go ones. Because some of these Washburn V's, uh, Dimebag V's that they made, they were really f***ing weird looking. But this is one of the, uh, the good ones that are sh isn't shaped like a complete asshole. Look at that. Bill Lawrence pickup. Dude, it's actually not too bad of a price. Uh, usually these guitars, even the Chinese ones, they go for like $3,000. So, you know, this is actually not too bad. This is like 700 bucks or 600 bucks maybe. Here we go, Ibanez gem. Dude, the floral gem. Six thousand dollars, man. Holy shit. You know, I remember during the 90s you could get these for like, uh, you know, a thousand bucks. However, that was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. You know, inflation and all, obviously. Beast Rich Stealth Chuck Chaldonier tribute. NT Black, excellent condition. That's uh, three thousand dollars right there. Made in Korea. Holy shit. It's the Korea model for three thousand dollars. Holy shit. How much are the US uh, Chuck Chaldonier guitars going for if there's anyone? You know, if they still exist. That's uh, $12,000 right there, or $11,000. The guitar is really good shape for 2005. Plays fantastic. The paint job is in top shape. The bad, it has small thing on the top, very small. Some stand rash in the back and very small amount at the bottom of the guitar. Okay, that's actually a very cool guitar. I like these. Is there something growing inside of there? Something brown. That's pretty cool, but yeah, way out of uh, your league and my league. <laughs> Holy shit. Seven thousand or six thousand dollars. You know, I I had one of these. It was I didn't get this much money for mine. <laughs> F man. Oh, I love these guitars. Holy shit, that just makes me sad. I want one. I have one. I have one over there. There, here you go. Oh, this is a pre-order, but it's a Sonic guitar, man. How cool is this? It's a pre-order though. Ah, uh, I want it now. I don't want to just... I don't feel like sending my money to this face right now. <laughs> you know? For something that might arrive next year. Ah, ah. I'm not gonna buy a guitar today. If this was available today, I would have bought it. But it's next year. Anyways, I guess... I guess that's the news, guys. Thank you. I just woke up after three hours of sleep because uh, I'm actually not going to Shanghai this first day. I'm going to Shenzhou and uh, I landed in the middle of the night and I uh, got a couple hours of sleep and now I need to go back to the airport and go to Shenzhou for a live stream today. Did you take away all the Schefter guitars? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm in this store. That's, uh, what's it called? In, in initialized it, Music? Yeah, Initialized Music. Initialized Music. They have a solo wall right there. And we're about to do uh, a little uh, live stream. It's the 
the day after the Sheng Su live stream. That was yesterday. I think in total there was like one million viewers or something like that. It was crazy. It was more like a couple of hundreds or something like that. Today I'm flying to Shanghai and Music China. Dangerous not to move. Okay. Look at that, that's my view right there. So I just arrived to Shanghai and look at this double room, man. Office uh, for, I don't know what, and then here, the, the big ass bed. I actually have a performance in two hours at the show, so I'm just gonna unpack my shit and uh, bring all my stuff over to, uh, uh, to the exhibition and then we'll see how it goes. Back at the hotel, I'm watching Sunday with Ola draft for Sunday. I pre-recorded Sunday with Ola for this coming Sunday, so you know, being very prepared now. I had the first performance at Music China. Uh, everything felt uh, insanely awkward, of course, because you know, a lot of new songs that I'm not used to playing, and uh, also it was so freaking loud in there. Holy shit, man! Nobody. It was insanely loud in that exhibition. Tomorrow, I'm gonna remind myself to bring earplugs. But yeah, that was insane. But with it being uh, that loud meant that, you know, when I was playing, it was loud too, which is great. Uh, made it sound really good. But I just couldn't hear anything, so I just threw out the in-ears. So now I'm uh, just chilling for a slight second and then uh, I'm going for dinner. Shit, yeah. I woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning, went down to the gym, did the pool. Dude, I'm such a old man. <laughs> Today is yet another day of uh, the exhibition.
another day, two performances, a couple of hangs, signings and shit. And uh, yeah, dude, it's uh, very energy consuming. This show is uh, freaking alive if you compare it to like Nam. I'm <laughs> just saying, uh, both Gibson and Fender are here. That says a lot. They don't go to Nam. Just nice to see how this show is. This is uh, how shows should be, in my opinion. You can have the smaller ones like uh, Guitar Summit and all that, but you know, this is more like the, the real trade show that Nam is supposed to be. So yeah, now I'm heading to the hotel. That's my hotel up there. And uh, then same thing again, have dinner and uh, go to bed basically, and then repeat tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going home, so. Yeah. All right, it's the last day of my trip to Shanghai. Uh, I leave in the evening today. Uh, I have performances uh, on the afternoon though. So I have two performances more and then if, straight after that, I'm heading off to the airport to fly home. <laughs> Job. Uh, Unboxing with Ola. Let's go. Hey, Hunden. Will you come in? Hey, Hunden. Hey, yo. Hey, boy. Are you ready to unbox this? Or do you simply not care? I think it's the latter. She does not care. Okay. Mm, but I still love you. You're amazing. This box right here has me incredibly excited. Uh, this is something I've been trying to buy uh, last year when they announced it. Hey Team Ola, I'm the book editor for an upcoming coffee table art book on James Hetfield's guitar collection. It took over two years to complete, we're covering 40 plus guitars from James' collection with essays from James for each guitar. I also work closely with James Circle, his guitar tech, his luthier, his restores, and numerous artists that helped design some of the most notable guitars. I've been a fan of your channel for some time now. I got a Soldano SL authority after watching your video, and would love to see if you are interested in doing a short swallow segment with an advanced copy of the book in September. Oh shit, it's late October. <laughs> I was trying really hard to buy one of these books in a swole actually. So uh, this has me very happy uh, that uh, he fixed it for me because I couldn't figure it out. It was, it, that's just one of the, the perks of being Swedish, I guess, is that you can't order shit. Not from the US, they, they don't like us. That's just what it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Ooh! The weight, man. Holy shit. Ooh. Gently. I don't want to cut it. Oh my goodness. Holy shit! Messengers, man! You are one of the first to receive an advanced copy before release. Holy shit, face man, and I'm already late. Uh, this was in September. Anyways, oh my god. How cool is this, man? I always wanted to be a drummer. Shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man, that is so clean. Dude, what? Take a look at that. Some old photos of Master Mustaine and Ron. Ooh, what? Ah, oh, shit. Kind of sucks that there's a crease right there. These guitars that they're showing here are, you know, these are fucking history objects right there. Take a look. 1980 to 1984. Take a look at that. There it is, the guitar. Dude, I have to keep this away from Louise. She she's fucking madly in love with uh, good old James Hetfield. Such a hunk, man. Damn. Take a look at that. Holy shit. Obviously, I'm gonna read this way more thorough uh, than this, but I just wanted to quickly kind of do this. Dave of England. White cross. Oh shit, yeah. Purple snake bite. All the way up to present years, man. Oh, here's the Kenneth Lawrence custom shop hunter. Look at that. Dude, what a beautiful fucking book. <laughs> he even has a butterscotch telly. Damn, man. He would fit so good with Guitar Circle Jerk. Look at that, man. Holy shit. What an image. You can actually see his settings on these apps. Too cool, man, too cool. Fuck yeah, man, thank you so much for this. I'm so happy I was able to get one. And dude, this is a thick son of a bitch right there. I'm gonna read this through. It's the perfect coffee table uh, book, man. Okay, just, there you go, look at that. And people are gonna be like, oh shit, what the hell is this, man? Oh shit, what the hell is this, the Grinch, holy shit. Kent had the Grinch. No, the uh, Yeah Yeah Guitar Tech. He had the Grinch. Dude, thank you so much. Hooking me up and all that. Thank you. Ha! Ah, how about that? Amazing. Anyways, that has to be it for Sunday with Ola 159 for today. Remember, this coming Wednesday, Chug Project album number two is out on all streaming platforms. I really appreciate the support. If you want to support what we're doing here in this office, you know, pre-ordering the Chug Project album number two is definitely helping us. And uh, the guys are working really hard to ship out all the things now before the release. The vinyls are a little bit delayed. They will arrive this week. As soon as we get them, we'll start shipping out the stuff, okay? Thank you so much for understanding. And with that said, hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.